Okay, I know today is April Fools, but this is not a joke, okay? I'm actually posting another video after I just posted a video. Like, we're here back to back, okay? Like, I'm here, all right? But before we get into the nitty gritty of this video, I just wanna say a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a detailed video on how to install the Blowtorch mod, which that video will be out either tomorrow or Wednesday, but I'm gonna aim more for Wednesday for that video to be out. Um, I'm just trying to see if I'm gonna make it like a YouTube short or actual full video because it's not really that long, um, but I am gonna put that video out this week, okay, for everyone that has been asking. And I know y'all probably like, girl, you said you was gonna do that like last week and the week before and the week before. Okay, look, I don't know if I, a lot of you guys probably already know this, but I am a freelance architect in my real day to day life. So sometimes I'll think I'll have a free week to do stuff and work on my Sims channel, but then I'll get called to a job. So then I, everything I had planned just gets abandoned because I gotta go do my job, you know? So, but for the month of April and May, those are my vacation months. So I'm not taking any jobs. So I'm here, okay? Anything else I'm gonna put out this month or in May, I'm definitely putting out. So I'm gonna be here a lot more posted videos back to back to back because I have free time now. So, yay. <laughs> I just wanted to get that out the way, but enough yapping and yip yap. Let's talk about what we have in front of us here. I kind of want to do a different concept for this build. Um, This is a house that my Sims are moving out of. So it's like half empty, but a little bit of it is still kind of decorated. I wanted to, you know, I didn't want to do like a move in ready empty home. I kind of want to do a home that's like in between empty and like, you know, furnished, but not really. You, you guys are gonna see, okay. I don't know. I was very inspired by like those liminal spaces and stuff that you see on Pinterest of like those houses that just kind of look eerily sort of empty. I don't know how to explain it, but if you know about liminal spaces, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But this is how the house looks on the outside. We're going with the whole one story older home look. I love those. Y'all know I live for those and we even have the soul sign and the U-Haul truck outside indicating that these Sims are moving out. So I feel like this would be kind of cool for, you know, storytelling purposes. Let's just hop right in it. This is what it looks like when you first walk in this is like the foyer area you see we have some stuff here water bottle little hamster cage here and just like some family pictures and everything on the wall fun fact this floor plan is actually based off the house i'm living in now so fun fact tee hee hee y'all in my house but not really <laughs> but um yeah so this is how it looks and we can just turn around and look at the front door here but uh i'm gonna do the bedrooms later because this is a bedroom i'm gonna start with the living area because i am obsessed with this area i just love how open it is and how it just looks like somebody is moving out or moving in like i don't know this is the area where we would do like cartwheels when i was little like you know the big open area when there's no furniture like if you're moving into the house or whatever your parents are like moving the furniture around it's just open you be been here doing jumps jumping jacks splits flips and stuff making sure you don't hit your head on the fireplace but yeah oh this is also uh kind of like the same fireplace from my last build i'm really obsessed with these old brick fireplaces now so that's that but this is how the area looks you see it's like no couches or anything but it's still like some furniture that the sims have to move out they just haven't like you know taken yet or packed up yet so that was my inspo with this. I really like it. And you don't have to go with that with this house. I mean, you can like delete everything I did and just furnish it the way you want to, which I love when y'all do that anyways. Like you can change stuff. You can change the carpet. You can change the walls. A lot of y'all be asking like, oh, can I change the stuff? Of course. Of course, girl. Like I'm just, I'm just here to, you know, provide the house, provide the build. But yeah, so walking over here, this is the backyard, by the way um this is on a 30 by 20 lot so the backyard is pinchy winchy um you can place this on a 40 by 30 if you want a bigger backyard and this is a kitchen this is where like the you know dining table and stuff should be but they are moving out so they packed it up and it is in that big box right there but there's still some stuff left in the kitchen because you know they haven't got to packing up the kitchen yet so this is the kitchen love it love it love it love it 
I am obsessed. I love when you can like peek into the living room from another room like that is I live for that. I live for that. I love it. And I love me some brown cabinets like that's I just love it. I love old stuff, y'all. I don't like new updated stuff. So like, that's why y'all don't see me building modern houses or anything really updated. Cause that's just not my style. Like I just, I don't like it. Um, Got this fish tank here. It is empty, at least it should be. That, you know, the fish tank is still there. They took the fish with them in their new house. <laughs> okay, so we can move on to the bedrooms now. Uh, I guess we can start down here. This is a hall closet. Any door that you don't see me going in is because it's a hall closet or a pantry. Like over there, that door over there was a pantry. This is a hall closet. Um, this is a bathroom. Just a simple bathroom. It's not really in anything in here because like I said, they're moving out. This is one bedroom. They still got the little TV here in the corner. They haven't packed that up yet. A little seahorse seahorse that's not a seahorse rocking horse um i actually don't know why i put that there i think i was trying to do something else with it but now it's just there and it's making a little ugly shadow so i kind of don't like that but you know we can just delete that uh, but yeah so this is bedroom number one um straight ahead we're gonna pass up this bed bedroom straight ahead this is the garage which is just a garage washer and dryer right there hot water heater y'all know the drill Okay, that's the garage. And this is like the master bedroom, main bedroom. It's not that big. But in a lot of older homes, the master bedroom isn't that big. So, you know. Oh, you can see the hallway through here. See, I love stuff like that. That's why I be having like the archways instead of like the doors closed. Because in a lot of houses, people typically keep their doors open. They don't have them closed. So, um, but you can like put a door right there if you want to. But I just like the archways. Um, then this is the bathroom pretty spacious pretty spacious this is the closet right there and then the shower is tucked off in the little corner very um simple bathroom this is a three bathroom three bedroom house too by the way um so let's go back to the beginning the beginning bedroom which this bedroom is actually bigger than the master bedroom but this wasn't supposed to be a bedroom this was actually supposed to be like a dining room in an office but i made it a bedroom because i didn't want it to be a two-bedroom house but um yeah so this is that bedroom and then the little bathroom that it comes with with the closet right here again so all the bathrooms are kind of fairly the same in this house um, i kept it pretty simple but that is pretty much the um it for this house i'm just obsessed with this floor plan like you guys know how much i love connecting rooms and like when the kitchen connects to the hallway and connects back to the living room like i love that how i can just like you know do me a little I'm trying to go fast do me a little speed run through the house Doop. the speed run <laughs> this probably looks insane just speed running around the house <laughs> but i love that so yeah and i actually be doing this in my house all the time i just be speed running through the house uh because i don't know it's just something that i really that's like my little floor plan kink i just love floor plan kinks sound kind of crazy honestly but i just love that <laughs> i just love floor plans like that so yeah that is pretty much it for the house um like i said you can make it however you want it do however you want keep it this way or add furniture to it or have your sims not have any furniture because they can't afford it yet i don't know you can do whatever you want but that is pretty much it for the house we are in oasis springs which i haven't done oasis spring yet so it still look a little funny i haven't started actually um putting deco houses or putting anything deco related here yet um because i'm still working on willow creek and delso valley and newcrest like those are my main focuses right now and then i will move on to the other worlds but i did want to show you guys a little sneak peek of some of the stuff that we have to come so let's hop on over there okay so this is what i really want to show you guys and i'm so excited i just don't know what to do so you may think oh jasmine this is just another one-story house that you built but no it is not it is a deco house that is up on my brother's patreon right now patreon.com slash go go ahead and go get it while it's on early access okay um i'm so excited because i have been wanting realistic deco homes for forever and my brother's finally doing them okay we finally figured out how to do them 
So I'm excited because you guys to get one story deco homes, two story deco homes, deco mansions, okay, deco ranch style homes, like all types of deco houses, like different type of ones about to be coming out all this month. So my realistic reels are really about to be popping. Like they really are about to look so good. Cause right now I have um the Sims deco, which I guess I'll show you guys that. Uh but like I said, if you want this deco house, it is on my brother's Patreon. But right now I have these Sims deco houses. Let me just go across the street. It's gonna take me a while to get over there. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. Cause I'm in build mode. I'm not in like live mode. So I was putting the deco homes over here. We are in Willow Creek and you see, I was like even trying to dress them up and make them cute. Okay, I put like, a realistic door and a garage on them like I tried to make them look really cute see that one and this one look the door didn't slip down I don't know why I did that but um <laughs> this one right here and I I put two uh sims houses together because I'll usually do that I'll like put two of the same house together to make it look a little bit better because some of the sims deco houses are looking crazy um and then we have like this one over here that I tried to do and this one over here so I was trying to make like the Sims deco houses look a bit better but the fact that we're actually about to get some realistic deco houses well some ones that match my aesthetic and how I build amazing amazing so all of this is going to get bulldozed and replaced once there's enough um deco houses to replace them because he's going to be putting some out all this month so i gotta wait till they're done but once all that's done then we will resume the realistic building okay like that will resume so that's pretty much what my willow creek is looking like right now it's not complete obviously but um even with my new crest i'll show you guys my new crest and how i had all those houses i have to take all those houses down and replace them so my realistic world will be put on a little bit of a pause, but that's fine because right now I'm just going to be focused on other bills and other things and finishing some old bills that I didn't finish. Um, the ones that you guys have been requesting a lot and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then we'll resume with the realistic world. But y'all, that's so exciting. Like, look at this house. Like, this looks like something I would build. Like, look at this. Are you kidding me? And this is on a 30 by 20, but obviously it's a deco house, so you can post it off lot. But I'm just so excited. Um, so, so many like cool things coming out and I'm actually able to make my game look the way I want it to. So I'm just over the moon. I'm over the moon. But like I said, on Wednesday, I will be doing the how to install the blowtorch mod video. And I also will be talking about um, my reshade and how to properly install that. Cause some of you guys were saying that when you put the reshade in, it showed up like yellow or like too saturated or something like that. And I know exactly why it's doing that. I figured it out um, because it happened to me. So I once I updated my reshade, it happened to me. So I did figure out why that's happening, but it's kind of like a little bit confusing to explain. Um, I'll try to lightly explain it, but once you download that reshade and you click home, you know, to see your reshade, some of the things will be duplicate duplicated, and that's because you probably already had like some of those shaders already in. Um, and you probably accidentally download them again so if you just go through and uncheck the duplicates then the reshade will look exactly like mine but i'll try to like show you guys visually what i'm talking about in the blowtorch video because then i'll make that video a little bit longer because installing blowtorch video that's going to be like pretty quick so i'm going to talk about reshade in that video as well and just anything else you guys had questions on so i mean like if there's anything else you guys want to know that's not like building related you know it's kind of like you know blowtorch related or tool related or reshare related let me know in the comments and i'll try to address all of that in that video and that can just be one big informative video so enough of my yip yapping y'all know i could do that all day that is it for my video like i said if you want this deco build just go ahead and go over to my brother's patreon it's always linked in my description box and if you want the build that i showed you guys today then download it from my patreon um but yeah that's it for me and i'll see you guys in my next one bye